Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and get started with our this given solution. And here we can see we have this quadratic equation. As you can see that this quadratic equation, each and every term is divisible by 7, isn't it? So we are going to divide each and every term by 7 across the board. So once we divide this one, this is what we are going to get over here. So that is going to give us x squared minus 10x plus 9 equal to 0. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using to solve this given quadratic equation. So the very first step is we're going to look at the leading coefficient. The coefficient of x squared is by default 1. So I'm going to write down a equals to 1. And here this b equal to negative 10 and c equal to positive 9. And now we are going to fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and now substitute the values. So x equal to minus and in our case b is negative 10 plus r minus square root of negative 10 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 9, everything is divided by 2 times a is 1. Let's simplify furthermore, negative and negative is going to become positive 10 plus r minus negative 10 squared is going to be 100 minus 9 times 4 is 36 divided by 2 times 1 is so that is going to give us 10 plus r minus this is become 64 the square root of 64 divided by 2 and since we are running out of space I am going to move over here our next step is going to be x equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 64 is going to be a simply 8 divided by 2. Now we have a two signs as you can see positive and negative. I am going to split them. So first is going to be 10 plus 8 divided by 2. The other part is going to be a 10 minus 8 divided by 2. 2, this is going to become 18 divided by 2. So that means x equal to 9 is one of our solutions. And here 10 take away 8 is going to be a 2 divided by 2. That means x equal to 1 is another solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 1 and x equal to 9 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.